In Bannalord, the AI Lords have a cheat where they do not require a horse or a war horse when upgrading units from infantry or archers to horsemen or mounted archers. They just pay the upgrade amount. This is meant to balance the horse economy in the game and for lords to have more horsemen. In Bannerlord, there is a quest called Noble Needs Help with Brigands. In this quest, you hunt down and destroy a number of bandit parties that are ever populating and patrolling around the noble settlement or village. This quest ends when you fully destroy a number of parties, meaning you kill or capture all members of the party with no one escaping, or it ends when the time runs out for the quest. Since in this quest, the bandits are programmed to not run away from you, just to patrol around, you can easily catch any party, take out a majority of their party, wait for them to retreat, and quickly end the battle before all the bandits die. You can repeat this multiple times, win a lot of battles, gain a lot of dinars, prisoners, influence, and everything else, and when it comes to for the quest to run out, actually destroy the number of parties completely and get rewarded again for completing the quest. In Bannerlord, if you do not like the hairstyle or facial hair of your character, you can visit a barber at any town in Calradia. The only thing to keep in mind is the choice of hairstyles and facial hair are based on the culture of the settlement. When starting a new game in Bannerlord or when you gain a new companion or family member and you want to make some extra dinars from selling their equipment, do not forget about the civilian outfit which also usually holds a one-handed weapon and also some gear as well. This can greatly improve the amount of money that you do get from a specific character or even your starting character in the game. In Bannerlord, you can assign a companion or a family member to become an emissary in any settlement to improve relations with the nobles and lords in the settlement. Multiple emissaries can be left and you should start seeing results daily with a reputation increase to random nobles and lords in that settlement. In Bannerlord, grain producing villages also carry livestock and sometimes at a very cheap price. If you ever are in need of livestock and the towns are out, 
check the many grain producing villages and Calradia. In Bannerlord, the Air Lords have a cheat where they can access one recruitment slot more than their reputation can unlock. For example, if the player has 5 reputation with a noble, then 3 recruitment slots will be open. But for the AI, they will open up 4 recruitment slots, 3 for the same reputation, and an extra one as the cheat. In Bannerlord, when you decide to siege a town or a castle, during the initial sieging process, when you are building your siege equipment, make sure to utilize the move to reserve feature when it comes to your front firing equipment. What I suggest is building four trebuchets and four fire onagers. When each one constructs, put them into your reserve right away by clicking on the machine and then clicking the move to reserve pop-up that appears. Once you have all eight machines in your reserve, pause the game, Put out all four of your trebuchets and begin your siege. If a treb goes down, replace it with one of your fire onagers. These eight machines should be more than enough to take down all the enemy siege machines and the walls of the castle or settlement you are sieging. Horses in Bannerlord become lame when they are knocked down in battle. Becoming lame means the horse's stats are lowered. With no perks, a horse becomes lame 100% of the time when knocked down. But with the riding perk called Veterinary, which you can get at skill level 50, this turns the lame survival rate to 50% when knocked down. In Bannerlord, some leadership perks were recently added and changed. The previous perk that allowed the player to upgrade bandit troops has been removed. The new leadership perk that contains the same feature is now called Veterans Respect and can be unlocked at skill level 150. In Bannerlord, there is a quest called Landowner Needs Manual Laborers. In this quest, you have to find bandit prisoners for a noble and he will pay you 10 times the market value per prisoner. This quest lets you bring the noble as many prisoners as you want, even if you go past what he needs. If you focus on the time left for the quest, you can make a lot of dinars and when it's almost over, talk to the notable and end the quest to receive your big payout.
In Bannerlord, rebellions occur when the settlement's loyalty goes below 15 and the security is also low. This creates a rebel clan that becomes the new ruler of the settlement. The rebels then try to find another kingdom to join based on their culture, and if they do succeed, they will become an official clan. The previous owner can take the settlement back in 30 days, and if they are successful, the rebels will be defeated. In Bannerlord, there are two important icons to keep an eye out for. This will save you a lot of time when you are looking for quests or tournaments. To the right of settlement names, you will occasionally see two icons. One being an orange helmet and the other being a blue exclamation point. An orange helmet means a tournament is being held and the blue exclamation point means there is a quest to be done. <laughs> 